Welcome to my unboxing and first look at the Fractal Design Tesla R2 series of power supplies. We've only got one here today. This is the 1000 watt, but these are 80 plus gold value power supplies, which is sort of an interesting position to be in because they're highly efficient, but you won't find some of the bells and whistles that you find on their more high-end units, the Newton power supplies. So those ones are uh, 80 plus platinum and are just generally sort of better, you know, longer warranty, all that kind of stuff. But 80 plus gold is still pretty good. And there's a lot to be said for just, you know, a generally well-built, non-modular 80 plus gold power supply. So three-year warranty, SLI and Crossfire certified, which is sort of interesting. Um, just because those certifications do cost, do cost money. Uh, 80 plus gold certified efficiency, okay, silent temperature controlled 135 millimeter fan, doesn't ramp up past 40% until it reaches 60% load, which is 600 watts, that'll almost never happen, and doesn't really ramp up until the last 20%, which again, almost never happens with a 1000 watt power supply, so demanding high-end gaming machines, powerful workstations, single 12 volt rail capable of providing up to 960 watts of the total 1000 watt output. Tesla R2, excellent DC voltage regulation and ripple suppression. They can deliver their full rated wattage continuously, even with an intake temperature as high as 40 degrees. Wow. Okay, and it should almost never be intaking 40 degree air. Uh, 80 plus gold efficiency. Extra long ATX cable. That's actually really handy, and it goes to show, you know, you can tell companies that make power supplies and companies that make cases and power supplies because... It means that they just like, they have cases there and they're like, oh, we should probably try our power supply in a case before we like release it. And they're like, oh, we should have a longer cable. See, that's the kind of things you figure out if you actually have an ecosystem of products that you want to go together reasonably well. So we've got an included power connector. We've got oh, a fair number of included cable ties, only two Velcro straps and then four, five uh, plastic zip ties, included mounting screws. And it comes in a fractal design bag. Hey, look, Slick has a new bag to wear over his head. Is this gonna fit? Let's try. Oh, no, it doesn't fit, that's too bad. Either way, you know, cute little bag. You can store like, you know, your Barbies in it or something. I meant Slick's Barbies, not you the viewer's Barbies. I know you guys don't have Barbies, but he does, believe it or not. Lots of Barbies, he's big into Barbies. It's weird. Okay, let's have a look at the power supply unit itself. Very clean overall design, like we've come to expect from Fractal with their cases. Simple Fractal design, snowflake on the top. Simple, you know, safety certifications and all that good stuff. Basic specs printed right onto the power supply. No cheesy stickers here, guys. Do not remove this cover. Please, 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 please don't. That's definitely a good thing to have on the side as well. 80 plus gold efficiency, 1000 watt Tesla. And then we find the 135 millimeter cooling fan. So that looks like one of their uh, R2 series fans actually, which is uh, actually a good thing because these are, these are very quiet fans. At the back you find a honeycomb mesh, the usual thing, as well as power plug and power switch. Now let's have a look at what we've got in terms of connected cables because this will make or break any power supply, let's face it, it's pretty easy to find a good power supply these days. There's lots of different options, but if you have a great power supply that, you know, has got very low ripple, provides good power, etc., 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 but just doesn't have the right cable mix for you, then you're not going to use it. Uh, not great sleeving on this, to be perfectly honest, especially when you consider that it's... Uh, better sleeving on their other unit as well as there's just kind of better options out there. But again, like I said, this is in a bit of a unique position because it's an 80 plus gold unit that is value priced. So you can expect certain things that don't affect that performance, that efficiency, to not be as premium as what you might expect from, again, their higher end unit. So you got your 24 pin connector. You got, let me find that long eight pin that they were talking about over here. Where is it? There it is. All right, that's reasonably long. That's not the longest I've seen by any stretch of the imagination, but uh, should be should be good enough even for something like a Define XL, which is about as about as bad as it gets, to be perfectly honest. Okay, and then in terms of GPU connectors, we have many. So we have three harnesses each with two six plus two pin connectors at the ends. I actually I, I have mixed feelings about this approach, where you've got one connector and then another one that comes right off of it because 
I don't know, I've just, sometimes it looks really good, sometimes it doesn't look that great. This one actually looks all right because it comes off pretty clean and as long as like they orient them right and you can kind of tie them together like here, here, I'll, okay, well, I'll show you guys because this is what it'll look like actually installed in a graphics card. Okay, so you'll have the one eight pin that goes in like this. Also, it can be a bit of a bear to deal with just because all the cables are sort of wired together. Um, although this one seems, again, it seems all white. Oh, that's probably a good noise. <laughs> there we go. There you go. So that's what that'll look like. So it can be quite, it can look quite clean. It comes down to your personal tastes. And it's, uh, okay, you could argue that it's a lot better than having two separate cables running to the video card, which is totally unnecessary because the PCIe spec has nothing to do with how much current can actually be carried by these copper wires. You can easily plug two of these into, uh, into a video card without worrying about like the wires heating up too much or anything like that. So, okay, six of those. Again, good lengths on those, nothing that, uh, you know, rings any alarm bells or anything. So let's go ahead and get the ones that we've looked at out of the way. This is a half. I'm not a big fan of non-modular power supplies these days. It is a way to get better efficiency out of out of the power supply design to use uh, hard hard attached cables. But um, okay, basically, if you're trying to save a buck, go for non-modular power supply. Otherwise, maybe look at the Newton line. Okay, so we got three SATA connectors here. Again, nice long cable on that one. That's good to see and very nice termination in between here. So that'll look really clean no matter what you have to do to it. Uh, here we've got another three. Here we've got another three. And then only a single harness with two Molexes and a floppy. I wouldn't have minded seeing two harnesses with Molex just because you can run into situations where, for example, my system has only two needed Molex connectors but they're not this close together. One of them runs off of the back of my sound card and the other one runs uh, my pump, which is down in sort of the basement. So this wouldn't reach. I would need an extension cable of some sort, which I have in my current setup so that I only have to have one Molex, um, Molex cable attached to my modular power supply. So I'm not saying like I can't make do with this. I'm just saying it might be nice if you need more than that. So thank you for checking out my unboxing and first look at the Tesla R2 1000 watt 80 plus gold power supply from Fractal. Don't forget to subscribe for more unboxings, reviews, and other computer videos. Uh, from uh, what do I usually say? Thank you for watching. Don't forget to subscribe for more unboxing, reviews, and other. Yeah, that's it. Slick noticed something I didn't notice before. These are actually rubber isolated mounts here, not screws. So that fan should be even quieter.